Hello, this is the Tachibana Corporation coming at you with another tutorial video. Today we will be showing you guys how to do a refresh of your Windows computer. Now we will be doing it on a desktop computer, but this works the same way regardless if you have a Surface tablet, a Windows tablet, or a Windows laptop. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to show you guys that I do have data here. Because the whole point of the refresh over the reset is that you get to keep your data and it only wipes the apps and windows itself so as you can see here i have the brave browser of course edge i have the video game do you copy the epic game launcher the steam launcher and then the atom editor for editing text usually for code and then as you can see here i have a couple files in here and then I can go to downloads and you can see all the installers, the wallpaper that I have on the background. And if I go to documents, you can see I have a couple files here. So the whole point is that my files will stay. All of these should stay here even after the reset. So let's go ahead and go to settings. Then we're going to go down to update and security. And then here on the sidebar, you can see recovery right here. And then you will see reset this PC. You'll click get started. And then you'll see right here, choose an option. Keep my files or remove everything. You will do remove everything if you're doing a factory reset. If you are just trying to get Windows to move a bit better, if it's being sluggish or something, you might want to select keep my files. All right, and it says right here, how would you like to reinstall Windows? You can do download and reinstall from the cloud or reinstall Windows from this device. I would prefer to do the local reinstall, but there's nothing wrong with the cloud download. It just moves a little bit faster. All right, and then you can see your settings right here. Hit confirm, you can hit next, and then it's going to say getting things ready. Okay, so it'll tell you right here, change settings back to their defaults, keep personal files, reinstall Windows from this device, remove all apps and programs, and there's even a button here that says view apps that will be removed. That's kind of handy. And note, this will take a while and your PC will restart. Let's go ahead and hit restart. It required me to do the cloud download. It did not like my ISO copy. So I downloaded it and it's now restarting. It's really nice that it tells you it's resetting this PC. That process was quite a bit longer than I thought, but we are finally done resetting. All right, now it seems to be installing Windows. And we have our first reboot. As you can see, we are on our second reboot. And I believe that is our last and final reboot. As we finally are logging into the desktop, I can tell you that this was a lot longer of a process than just factory resetting the computer. All right, it's almost there. So now that it's finally at the desktop, you can see right here that it left all these icons here. And then as you can see, it left all my downloads and all my documents, but it seems to have removed all of my apps. 
Let's go ahead and see what this removed app does. I'm a little surprised that it keeps the wallpaper, the truth be told. As you can see here, it very kindly gives you this list and it has an HTML file of the apps that were removed while resetting your PC. But this is a great way to make Windows act less sluggish or just give it all around the same feel it had when it was new while also retaining your files. I do believe that is the end of our reset tutorial for Windows. Let us know down in the comments which would like us to do a tutorial over next and we will go ahead and catch you guys next time.